Hi everyone, welcome to new video from Notre Engineering and today we are going to see how to perform rolling simulations using Abacus. Rolling is one of the most widely used manufacturing process where a metal sheet is pushed through two rotating rollers as shown over here in order to reduce its thickness. Of course, when the thickness is reduced, the width of sheet will get increased a little bit and this is a permanent deformation. I got many requests to make a video about how to do basic simulations of rolling with Abacus. Now this is our geometry. If you pay a close attention, you can find two planes of symmetry. One, if you take a vertical plane over here, the geometry is symmetric about that vertical plane in the center. And also if you take a horizontal plane, something like this at the center, the geometry is symmetric about that horizontal plane as well. Therefore, we can use this symmetry to simplify our model. So instead of modeling full geometry, we can model only quarter of the geometry. And that quarter geometry is shown over here. First, we have a roller with radius 100 millimeter and it is rotating with angular velocity of 1 radians per second. The initial dimensions of sheet are given over here. Thickness is 10 millimeter, which is shown also over here. Width is 20 and length is 40 millimeter. We are going to reduce this thickness from 10 millimeter to 8 millimeter. The velocity of sheet is 100 millimeter per second and this velocity actually should be calculated in a such a way that the peripheral velocity of this roller should match this velocity. So let's say there is one point over here, then velocity of that point will be r omega. In our case omega is 1, r is 100, so velocity will be 100 millimeter per second. We will assume friction at the point of contact and the coefficient of friction we will assume as 0 0.3. Thickness of roller is 30 millimeter. As you can see over here also, roller will be much thicker than plate. So thickness of plate is 20, thickness of roller is 30. So that when width of sheet is increased, still the whole width will be in contact with roller. Material properties are given over here. We will assume roller is made of rigid body. Therefore roller will not undergo any deformation or it doesn't have to have any material properties at all. And the sheet is made up from steel. As we will perform dynamic explicit analysis, we have to define density of steel, also Young's modulus and Poisson's ratio. And on top of that, we have to define plastic properties as well. And those plastic properties will be given in the form of table of yield stress versus plastic strain. In total, we have to define five boundary conditions. First is for plates bottom surface, which is this surface. We will have Y symmetry boundary condition. That means it is symmetric about Y axis. The coordinate system is shown over here. So everything I am saying is with respect to this coordinate system. Then plates back face, which is this surface. It has symmetry boundary condition along X axis. Then roller can only rotate along X axis. So all degrees of freedom except UR1 are set to be zero. Then initial velocity of entire plate it's said to be minus 100 millimeter per second minus because sheet is moving in negative z direction. And finally, angular velocity of roller is one radian per second. One of the main problem in this rolling simulation is how to assemble roller and sheet. And in order to assemble them in a correct way, you have to pay attention when you model the part as well. Therefore, if you model the part correctly, it will be very easy to do assembly. In this video, I am going to follow these steps. First, we will sketch a roller in XY plane with center of that roller at 0, 0 and we will extrude that roller in positive Z direction. So this is the roller sketch. This is the center of roller and I have fixed it to 0, 0. Then when we create a sketch for sheet, that also we will do in XY plane with one corner at 0, 0 and another corner at 20, 10. This is the sketch of sheet. This corner is at 0, 0. I have fixed it at 0, 0. And this is at 20, 10. And again, we will extrude it in positive Z direction. If you do this while creating a part, it will be very easy to assemble them later. If you follow these steps, and then when you create instances in assembly, your initial configuration will look like this. Then you just have to follow three simple steps. First step, rotate the roller along Y axis by 90 degrees, then configuration will look like this. Then translate the roller along positive Y axis by 108 mm, then it will look like this. 
it just relative representation so this sheet did not go down actually this roller came up by 108 millimeters and then finally translate the sheet along positive z axis by 25 mm so you can see now there is an interference over here then we translated it by 25 millimeter in positive z direction and then this sheet came over here and that's it done now let's start with abacus cie and see how to do this first select your working directory and then create a part i will name it as roller we will create roller as a rigid body therefore i will select here discrete rigid in shape i will select shell and extrusion say continue then create a circle keep its center at 0 0 then i will fix that center at 0 0 using this fixed constraint now center is fixed and then adjust its radius so radius in our case is 100 millimeter and say okay depth of roller is 30 mm we are creating roller as a shell because we just need this surface which will be in contact with sheet therefore to reduce computational cost we are just creating only this surface also later to define boundary conditions for this roller we will need a reference point at the center so to create that just go in this tools click on reference point and then select any one point of these two. Abacus will highlight some points and you can select any one of these two points. I'm going to select this one because it is on XY plane, but you can select any one. Next, create second part. I will name it as sheet. This should be 3D deformable and solid. Say continue. Then create a rectangle. Again, keep one corner at zero, zero. Say okay. And again, I will fix this one corner, which is at 0, 0. Now this is fixed. And then adjust the dimension. The thickness is 10 millimeters. And width is 20 millimeters. Say OK. Depth of extrusion should be 40 millimeters. And your sheet is ready. Next, let's go to property. Create a material steel. Let's start with density. Density in our case is 8 into 10 raised to minus 9 ton per mm cube. We are using this ton per mm cube because we are going to stick with this SI mm units. Therefore, here I will input 8 E minus 9. Next, go in mechanical, elasticity and elastic. Young's modulus is 210 gigapascal, which we will convert into megapascal. And Poisson's ratio is 0 0.3. Then again, go in mechanical, plasticity and plastic. Here we will input that table which is given over here which gives how yield stress evolves with respect to plastic strain. I will just input this table now over there. Okay. And then say okay. Then create a section, solid homogeneous section. Say continue, select material steel, say okay. And assign that section to our part. Say okay. You don't have to assign any section or create material for roller because that is just a rigid material. Then go to assembly and now we are going to see how to assemble them. First thing, just create two instances and say OK. And now you just have to follow these three steps. First, rotate the roller along Y axis by 90 degrees. To do that, select this rotate instance button. Select the instance which we want to rotate, say done. And now you have to select the start point of axis of rotation. Let's keep it at 0, 0, 0. Press the middle button of mouse. And then end point will be 0, 1, 0. That will define the Y axis. Again, say OK. And enter angle of rotation 90. Again, press the middle button and it will be rotated. Say OK. Next step is translate the roller along positive Y axis by 108 millimeters. To do that, select this translate instance button, select that roller, say done. Again, first point should be 0, 0, 0 and the second point will be 0, 108 and 0. And you can see roller came on the top of sheet, say OK. 
Now third and last step is translate the sheet along positive Z axis by 25 millimeters. To do that again select this translate instance then select this sheet say done and here again first point 0, 0, 0, and second point will be 0, 0, 0025 and say okay. Now if you zoom over here you will see there is no interference and the sheet will move from this direction to this direction. Next go to step, create a step, it should be dynamic explicit step, say continue, keep time period as 1, you don't have to change anything over here, usually in rolling simulations people use mass scaling, it reduces the computational time, but we will not discuss that in this video, I will make a separate video about this, as of now don't change anything, just say ok. Then go to interaction, here we will define the contact between this top surface of sheet and surface of roller. To do that, click on this create interaction button, select surface to surface contact, say continue, then select first surface which I will select as this sheet's top surface, say done. Next choose the second surface type, choose surface and then select this roller surface, say done. As roller is a shell part, Abacus will ask you which surface do you want, the inside one or outside one. We want outside surface which is brown, so select brown. Then this window will pop up, here keep kinematic contact method, don't change anything, but you have to define contact interaction property. To define that, click on this button, select contact, say continue, and then here go in this mechanical, select tangential behavior, and instead of friction less friction formulation, change it to penalty and coefficient of friction you can define over here 0.3. Once you are done here, say ok and again say ok. Now contact is defined. Next go to load. Here we have to define all those 5 boundary conditions. Now first boundary condition is Y symmetry on this sheet's bottom surface which is this surface. For that select this create boundary condition. Select this first option which contains symmetry. This you can define for initial step as well. Say continue. Select this surface. Say done. And choose Y symmetry. Say ok. Next is X symmetry along the plates back surface. That surface will be this surface. Make sure this is the surface which is aligned with roller. If you see this view, this surface is aligned with roller. This surface is not. So you have to select the surface which is aligned with roller. Again click on this boundary condition, symmetry, initial, continue. This surface is selected, say done and here X symmetry, say done. Next we have to apply boundary condition for roller and that we will apply to this reference point. For that select again this boundary condition. Now go into displacement slash rotation. Again you can keep this for initial step, say continue. Select this reference point, say done and now you have to click all the degrees of freedom except UR1 because it will rotate along X axis, say ok. Next we have to give angular velocity, for that again select this command. Here you have to select velocity slash angular velocity and then you have to change this step to step 1. Say continue, select that reference point, say done and here vr1 will be 1, it is in radian per second, say ok and finally initial velocity for this sheet. So again select create boundary condition, step 1 and here velocity angular velocity, say continue. Now to select this sheet, I am going to go into this yz view and again turn off the perspective, zoom in over here and then just select this whole body. Say done and our velocity in z direction will be minus 100 and you can see now roller has initial velocity towards the roller. Next go into mesh, we have to create mesh on part so select part over here. First let's mesh sheet, let's seed the part with 4, maybe force is 2 cores, let's make it 2, say ok and mesh it. 
just make sure element type is correct for that go into this mesh and element type select this part say done and element type should be 3d stress and explicit say ok say done next select roller over here again let's seed the roller maybe with 5 say ok and mesh it for roller the element type should be rigid elements again change this to explicit say ok and finally go to job create a job i'm going to name it as rolling simulation say continue say ok and submit the job one eternity later simulation is done and these are the results because roller is made from rigid element so it doesn't have any stresses but you can see this is our sheet which just underwent rolling you can animate this in time using this button and you can adjust the animation speed as well and you can see here as sheet is getting pressed by roller its thickness is reducing and its width is increasing you can see clearly here how width is increasing and the best part is if you want to represent the whole model again like remember we simulated only quarter model but we can represent the results from quarter model as a whole model what you have to do for that is you have to go in this option odb display options go into mirror and pattern and now you can mirror these results along yz plane if you say apply you can see now it mirrored across yz and also mirror it across xz plane and again say apply and now this is your full rolling simulation and again if you animate in time history you can see how sheet is getting pressed in between two rollers from this point you can see how the width is increasing to make it even better looking what we can do is we can go in this options common and then just don't show any edges it's difficult to identify that roller is rotating so for that you can just select something on the roller some element and now you can visualize the rotation of roller as well anyway that's it for this video if you have any questions please let me know in the comment section below if you like this video please visit this channel's homepage and you can find many similar videos over there and don't forget to show your support by subscribing to this channel and as always thank you for watching